Hey y'all. I'm very tired. It's kind of late. Um, but I am going to do Mary Mary season three, episode eleven. Um, the Australian tour. This is the last this is the one before the finale. Next week is the finale. Y'all have to excuse me. I am tired. Um I had to miss the first showing of the episode and I forgot to record it and pretty much I forgot to record it or whatever so according to the guide it was supposed to come on at a particular time it didn't come on marriage boot camp came on um it was supposed to come on after the watch it with Mary Mary so yeah so I had to stay up even later to, to watch it. I could have just reported it, but I wanted to go ahead and get it over with. Okay. Um, we do see that they're going to Australia. Now, I'm just going to start when they get to Australia. Okay. First of all, the radio host asked Tina about the whole Teddy, you know, cheating thing. And she's like, well, as soon as I... You know, I'm all the way around the country, you know, around the world. And that's the first thing she asked about. Well, my thing is this, you know, I, I mean, I'm sorry, Tina, but just like that lady at, you know, she, it's like she said, you didn't have to tell nobody. I mean, yeah, you telling people, you know, it's a positive thing. Other people can see it, um, you know, get inspiration from it. But you really can't be mad if people ask questions about it because you chose to put it out there. Okay. Now, when she left her house, you know, her and Teddy was all lovey dubby. I just have like a natural headband thing going on. Um, they was all, you know, lovey dubby, you know. But after the interview, you know, she pretty much got back in her feelings about him cheating. And they had like a very heated argument um, via FaceTime. I don't know if they was doing FaceTime or Skype, but they had a very heated argument. And my thing is... Tina, you need to be honest. You know, if you honestly not over something, just say it. I mean, don't try to, like, be honest. Don't try to, you know, make it, force yourself to go along with something when you're really not over it. Because you're not over something if... This, you know, if you only cool with the situation while you home, but as soon as you go away, you know, as soon as you go somewhere else, like you have to travel or something like that, you all of a sudden, you know, you get back in your feelings. Um, okay, as I have said all season, Warren, you know, I just feel like Warren is pretty much, I don't know, y'all. Warren just, I don't know maybe hopefully he actually took time and looked at this season to see how he was how he was portraying himself because yeah Warren this season has just portrayed himself to be an opportunist um and kind of shysty um but of course he wants Erica to pretty much leave Mary Mary okay he tells her that um, he tells her, oh, you know, you a grown woman, Tina a grown woman, you have to let her stand on her own two feet. Now, this is one thing that I did. I understood what Tina was saying. When her and Erica was talking and she was pretty much like, you know, I was with this man for all these years and, you know... I was with this man. I was married to this man for 12 years. And I had children from this man. But, you know, and I thought he was deeply in love with me like I was deeply in love with him. But it, that wasn't the case. And she said, you know, you know, I, I'm asking God to help me because at right now in this moment, I'm in my feelings. And how I feel about those other women is... I hope that they think they done find the love of their life and they have some kids and you know they think everything happy and then all of a sudden they find out 12 years later after all these kids later that their husband was cheating on them she said so they'll, they'll know how i feel she said but i understand that these women did not have a commitment to me but i still want them to know how i feel so i just want to just take a, a second to comment on that because i have always been a female who kind of had that philosophy like if I was with someone you know of course not my husband because me and my husband 
Um, my husband would never cheat on me. I would never cheat on him. But like in the past, like past relationships, you know, I have always had an attitude of if the person I was with cheated on me, I really can't be mad at the other woman because at the end of the day, they don't have no commitment to me. Now that is, unless this person is supposed to be my friend, you know, like somebody that's supposed to be my friend outside of this man or my family member or something like that, but just like a random chick in the streets. Like I've never understood why women, us as women, we will be so quick to try to fight the other woman or something like that. I mean, honestly, unless this person is so someone who is supposed to be a real friend to you or a relative of yours, you don't have no business trying to fight this person, you know, just unless they doing something like, okay, the only way I think it's okay for a woman to like go after the other woman is if that woman did something that was just blatantly disrespectful and like it's kind of hard to explain but just the how how a lot of women just automatically be like oh like you see them on more jerry springer all that foolishness you know you see them in real life just oh well i'm i'm about to fight her blah blah, blah. i mean at the end of the day like really like i said unless you know particular circumstances call for it this woman has no no real commitment to you um, so, I mean, you should be checking your man because that's the man that's laying up with your line to you. I'm just saying. That's I've always felt like that my whole life. I've always felt like before I go say something to this woman, you know, this girl, you know, like when I was like in my early teens, my early uh, 20s, though. I ain't having a boyfriend until I was 17, so not no early teens, but... When I was like 20, you know, my early 20s, like I would never confront another woman. No. Now, now it's a whole new ball game. And the reason that I would say something to the woman is because I know my husband and my husband knows me. And my husband would never do anything at all. I would never do nothing at all. Both of us know that. So if my husband comes home and tells me, well, baby, I done told such and such. That I have a wife. She clearly sees my wedding band. Um, you know. I done told her. But yet she keeps you know. Saying stuff and da 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 da. Then I'm going to say something. Just like my husband would. If I done told him like. Well I done let Bud over here know I'm married. But for some reason. I done asked him to leave me alone. But for some reason he just won't leave me alone. That's disrespecting my husband. So he going to take and go say something to this man. If it was him in the situation, if he done told a woman over and over again to stay out his face, yet she is just consistent. I mean, no, he's not going to do anything with her, but if she just consistently like trying him, that's disrespecting me and that's disrespecting our marriage. So by all means, I mean, I'm not going to put my hands on nobody because I don't believe in violence like that. But by all means, you're going to get told and I'm some with some words. You're going to get cussed out. I'm going to make you feel this, this big. But, you know, that's that's just, that's always been my philosophy. Like, I, I never understood how women try to go after the other woman. Now, um, you know, we do see that Erica, you know, keeps having issues with her voice. Tina pretty much tells Warren and the new manager, Erica's new manager, like, hey, she's having issues with her voice. You know, I can... Um, where she lacks, you know, lacks, I can pick up the slack, you know, so I don't mind. Okay. Now, I'm sorry, y'all, but I am pretty much like, I'm just looking at this. And at this point, I'm not really understanding why. It's like the doctors have told her, it's like Erica, this is a Mary Mary event. This is a Mary Mary concert. Why are you trying to hurt your vocal cords by trying to sing your solo song when you really, I mean, you just barely singing Mary Mary songs. And to be honest, if I was seen, I would have kind of sort of felt some kind of way when 
she really didn't sing. She really didn't. She, and she said it. She was like, well, I'm not really going to sing this Mary Mary stuff. I'm just going to wait until my, you know, I'm just going to wait. But I, you know, I'm sorry, but I, I just don't agree with that. We do see that Warren and the new manager pretty much are trying to team up behind Tina back and say that, um, behind Tina back saying that, you know, they, they going to tag team her. He, the manager going to say from the manager's standpoint and Warren going to speak from a label standpoint that, oh yeah, she just need to leave Mary, Mary, blah, 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 blah. So we see Erica, Goo Goo. And Tina, they go to like this little nature sanctuary thing and they have like little animal shows and they're talking. And, you know, Erica's like, well, I just, you know, I need to kind of step back and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But so Tina's like, okay, so you're saying you need to step back and just not. You need to step back and just not do any Mary Mary stuff. And she's like, well, that's what Warren and whatever the other guy name is. That's what they want me to do. And I think that's what I kind of, I kind of sort of want to do that. Because I just didn't think that, you know, I didn't think I was going to, my solo career was going to blow up like it did. Now, I, I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm kind of looking at it like, well, you saying it's blowing up, but so far... From my understanding, what they said on the last episode was they were supposed to be done with Mary Mary stuff for a little while, but then all of a sudden they get these um, these gigs in Australia. But I'm like, but Erica, you said old oh, stuff is moving so fast, but baby, just like Tina said, Mary Mary is your bread and butter. Mary, these people wouldn't even know nothing about you. If it was not for Mary Mary. So you going to turn your back on Mary Mary. Something that is steadily bringing y'all money in. You know it's. I mean y'all make making money hand over fist. But. You going to do that. You going to turn your back on Mary Mary. And just like Tina was like. She was like. Because I'm pretty sure y'all. They, they sat down and had a conversation. And they you know. Because Tina was like when we, when we talked. You said that you was not going to just leave Mary Mary. So we're going to see on the next episode because it looked like Erica kind of getting to it with the new manager. We also see that Mitch come knocking on the door, which I did. Um, I did look it up finally. Um, and it does say that um, he is suing them, which I had saw somebody on Twitter, like a couple of people on Twitter say that. And I was just like, well, but I never looked it up. Um, so yeah, he is suing them. And pretty much what he's saying is that he got them deals and endorsements worth over $3 million. He's saying that he is responsible for getting them to the deal with WeTV because he's saying that they were kind of their careers was kind of sort of going down a little bit and they wasn't you know um making what they have in the past so they came to him and they wanted him to do like a lot of rebranding rebranding their careers so he came up with the idea of doing the reality show he helped them um set all that up like i said he has made you know got them deals worth over three million dollars however he says that um He's pretty much suing them because they publicly fired him on the show. And he says that they owe him like $75,000. Plus, he's saying, like, he's saying they didn't pay him $75,000. Plus, he's suing them for, like, breach of contract for money that he would have got in the future. So, yeah. Now, um, it didn't... Like on the information that I saw, I tried to look at a couple of different places. It didn't say if it, it had gone to court, but this was actually last year um, that he filed. He filed it in the state of Tennessee, so it was last year. So, yeah, when he comes a knocking next week, it's going to be with a lawsuit. So, y'all, 
that was my my tired review because i'm so sleepy but um i do thank y'all for watching and we got one more week to go